So in this video, we're just going to be taking a look at how to write some code, very quick code, that as we scroll down the element, and this just happens to be a div, it could be a span, an image, a button, doesn't matter. So as we scroll down and up, the element scrolls at a different rate. So it creates this, uh, this parallaxing effect. And so if this interests you at all, leave a like, it helps the channel grow. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, and let's begin. So the general solution for what we're doing is this. We're going to fix an element to the screen. And then when we scroll manually, we're actually going to code for the manual scrolling of that element. So it's not going to be natural with the, with the scroll bar. So let's get a, an element on the screen. Let's go here. We'll just call this element div.orb. Let's style it. Let's go for the body first, though. STYLE. There we go. Body, let's just do a width of 100 viewport width. We'll do a height of uh, 300 viewport height. Let's do a background. I have this image right here. This guy right here. Let's do a background image. URL dot slash back dot PNG. All right, let's cover the background. Uh, where you size cover. Let's make sure it doesn't repeat. So no repeat. Let's get rid of the the uh, the horizontal scroll bar. So overflow X. We'll do a hidden. There we go. All right, let's get the uh, the orb on the screen, and we'll just center it on the uh, in the middle there. Orb. We'll do a width of two hundred pixels. We'll do a height of the same. We'll do a border radius of fifty percent, so we get a circle. Let's give it a color of blue. And let's fix it to the center. So position fixed. To the top of 50%, left of 50%. A transform, translate, negative 50, negative 50%, like that. All right, so we scroll and nothing happens. Let's uh, actually code for this. Let's open up a script here. And first things first, let's capture that orb. So document. What is the document query selector dot orb we'll need the ease ease just controls how fast or how slow the uh, the orb or your, whatever element you have how fast it scrolls relative to the uh, the actual scroll bar we'll do 0 0.05 for now and we need to know the start position of the orb and we're calculating all these start positions you'll see last offset or current offset total offset in terms of it's uh, the offset from the top of the page, so we'll do the orb the offset top. So all that means is where is this element or even the window dot page? Where is it relative to the top of this bar? Not to the top of the yellow page, but the top of this bar here. So if we said orb the offset top, it's 398 pixels from the top of this bar. If we said window dot page y offset. The window, the page is um, zero pixels down or from the top of this bar. If we did this and we said window page y offset, we get 328 pixels. So basically, how far is this yellow page scrolled up past this bar? So that's how we're measuring things by the offset from the top. So that's it for the cons. Let's do some lets. So we need to know if the animation loop is running. Set the defaults. We now need to know the total offset. How far in total are we from that top bar here? We're going to keep that data in a total offset. Offset is equal to zero. And we need a scroll request. So every time we scroll, we'll put in a request to actually move the, uh, the element up or down. So we'll need two functions. The actual, we start the animation loop with this function. So let's call it animate scroll like that. And then we need the actual animation loop. So animation loop like that. And then every time we scroll, we call the animate scroll. So document, what we do, the add event listener, scroll, and the animate scroll. And so every time we, we scroll like this, it'll register that event. And why is it not? There we go. Every time we scroll, it'll, it'll it registers that event and it calls this function here. So all this function is going to do is it's going to put in a request to scroll the the element. So scroll request plus plus, and it's going to start the loop if the loop hasn't already been uh, started. So if there's no animation running, 
animation running, and we'll start the animation loop like that. And of course, we switch the animation running to true like that. All right. Now to the animation loop, the actual request animation frame, and it's a recursive function, so it just calls itself like this. Let's calculate the difference now. But we need the current or the off the current first. So current offset is equal to that window.page y offset. And the difference that we're calculating is just the current offset minus the total. So where is the current offset? Let's just say we're here. Where's the total? Well, the total is the previous guy right here. So current minus that total would just give us this distance right here. And of course, the total offset is just going to calculate or accumulate where all the distances are. So if we had a, another scroll like this. This is current. That was the old total. That's the difference. And so the total would be the accumulation of this guy plus this guy. So the total, basically all the differences added up. We go back up here. So the difference, let's slow down the actual scrolling by that ease. And let's use this guy. So orb style top is equal to, and we need a, a pixel denomination. So wherever it started, minus, minus because we're moving up. When we scroll down, we want to move this guy up. So minus the total offset. And of course, again, we keep track of the total offset by adding up all of the differences. So total offset plus equals the difference before you request a new frame of this loop right here. So we'll see if we go back and we get this. There we go. So that's basically it except for this. Let me show you this. And you can parallax anything. This just happens to be a div. You can do paragraphs, like spans, images, buttons, whatever. So just as long as you fix it to the page and then you manually scroll it in your animation loop. So what did I say I was going to do? This right here. Console.log. So this is an animation loop. It calls itself. So watch this. Let's go to F5. And watch the orb. See the orb stopped? We don't need the animation loop to keep running. Yet it still runs. So this is very inefficient. So whenever you have a recursive function. Let me do this. Whenever you have a recursive function, you need some sort of exit logic to break out of the loop. So the exit logic for this is going to be, and we'll do it right here. If math.abs, so basically if the difference is less than 0 0.05, we'll kill the loop. And all this line means is if the difference, basically the distance you're scrolling, if it's less than 0 0.05, so it's basically where it's supposed to be. It's not exactly where it's supposed to be, but within 0 0.05 pixels, it's basically where it's supposed to be. If it's basically where it's supposed to be, just kill the loop. So we'll do this. Return, that kills the loop. But before we kill the loop, we have to actually reset some variables. So let's do scroll requests equal to zero. We have our total offset is now equal to current offset. So wherever the, the uh, wherever this guy happens to be, the total offset, when the, uh, the element stops uh, scrolling, parallaxing, this is now the new uh, total offset. So total offset is equal to the current offset. And of course, the animation running is equal to false. So we'll say if we go back at five that and we'll do this. So basically when it's at its uh, destination, actually, I got rid of the console.log. There we go. Save, go back at five. So basically when it's at its destination, at five, at five, is there some sort of error? Math, abs, abs, no, there we go, F5. So basically when it's at its destination, it just stops the loop. So we do that, and it stops the loop. We do that, and it stops the loop. And so that's it for the video. That's the basic logic of what we need. Again, you can do it with any sort of element. We just did it with the div, did it with your paragraphs, your images, your buttons, whatever. And so leave a like. It helps the channel grow. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And I will see you guys in the next one.